I'm gonna show you how us as Jamaicans eat everything. So you see how I get it into the sauce. I get some chicken on it. Mm. If you lost, now you found. So like, comment, share, and subscribe right now. Cause I'm your plug. And I'm about to put you on to Adrian's cooking and food review, baby. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee over his food. Adrian's cooking and food review. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee. Oh, baby. Adrian's cooking and food review, baby. Mm-hmm. You know how to use those spices too, baby. Mm-hmm. You ever have real Jamaican food? Some oxtails? You have? From where? California? Napa Valley? please. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee over his food. Adrian's cooking and food for you. He'll give you the recipes. He'll have you down on one knee. Oh, baby. Adrian's cooking and food for you, baby. Come on in, baby. And make sure you tell a friend. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be making something interesting. All right. We have a boneless chicken breast. We have some jerk seasoning. We have onion, green peppers, garlic, scallion, thyme. We have some tricolor sweet peppers. We have our fresh green beans. We have all our spices right here. We have our Jamaican curry, onion powder, garlic salt with parsley, Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, and we have our black pepper. Over here, we also have two green plantains. If you don't know how to make plantains, I'm gonna show you how we do it as Jamaicans. It's very similar to a Latin style, style of plantain, but ours is a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to peel your plantains and all those stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut up our chicken breast into small pieces. We're going to cut up our green beans. And we're going to season up everything, wash our chicken nicely, and everything like that. So stick with me because this is going to be a delicious recipe. All right, so we're going to cut up our chicken breast right now. So we want to cut them into nice strips because um, we want this to be a quick curry. So this is not traditional because normally we use it with the bone in. But we want to make a nice, quick curry. So we're going to cut it up into small strips. This is going to be the quickest Jamaican curry you've ever seen. But it's also going to be delicious. So we cut up our chicken into nice bite-sized strips. All right. And then, of course, we're going to take it underneath the pipe and wash it. So, you know, we got to wash our chicken well. It's one thing we pride ourselves on. And, you know, chicken breast doesn't take that long to cook. So, it won't take us that long. But we're also going to show you a different technique of how to make your curry chicken because you know um in the first video that i made i show you how to marinate the chicken with the curry this time we're going to show you how to burn so i know you all should know how to cut green beans already but we already took the sides off our green beans and what we want to do we want to just cut them in half because we still want to have that crunch and we don't want them to um get lost in the sauce you know, a lot of times stuff will get lost in the sauce. No, we don't want that. Because, you know, these are going to be as prominent as the chicken. All right. You know me, I like to put in things that are of value into the videos. So a lot of the chopping and stuff, I typically cut those out. But I just wanted to show you because I don't want you to be cutting up your green beans just one at a time they don't have to be evenly cut but you want to make sure each one is cut in half 
All right, so we're going to finish this up off camera, and I'll see you in just a moment. All right, it's now time to wash our chicken. So you see we have our chicken in some water. We're squeezing our lime juice in. And I constantly do this each video, just in case this is your first time watching the video. And then we put in the vinegar. Um, I know some people might say, you know, every video Adrian put this in, but you know, at times we have new viewers, so I want to make sure that they don't miss this. All right, so we are gonna wash our chicken and I'll see you over at the season station. We have our coconut milk in the background right there. So we're gonna season our chicken. First, we're gonna put on some black pepper. So you know we love black pepper, all right? After we put on our black pepper, we're gonna put on some garlic powder some onion powder. Well, we're gonna use the garlic salt with parsley. A little bit of garlic salt with parsley, not too much. Ooh, I just spilled my jerk seasoning over at the corner there. All right, we have our Maggie chicken seasoning. We're gonna add a little bit of that. We're gonna go in with a little bit of our ground jerk seasoning, all right? And then of course, a little bit of Cajun. And a lot of you might say this is a lot of season for a little bit of chicken, but remember, we're gonna be adding our green beans and our vegetables that doesn't have any seasoning and gonna require some season. So even though you see I put this much in there right now, I'm always gonna be tasting as I go by. So we may still need a little bit more seasoning once we're ready to simmer this down. Then the coconut milk has a little bit of sweetness to it. So that also, you know, when you have sweet, you gotta balance with a little bit of salt. So it's all a technique in cooking these dishes. So you taste as you go. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a few. Honey, I'll never leave you lovely. Woo! All right, so we're gonna peel our plantain. How we peel our plantain is that you cut the sides off like that, all right? Once you cut your sides off, then you wanna find one of these joints right there. You're gonna get your knife and you're gonna get in there, all right? Score it down until the other end. Once you get that, and it's gonna give you room. See, I did this one a little too deep. The part of my plantain is coming up. But you just do that, and then you continue to just peel it around. And you're gonna get your perfect plantain. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, so normally our plantains are done. I did rinse them. So normally what we would do is just add simply salt and pepper to them. But for today, we're gonna to sprinkle a little bit of canola oil and we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder so we're making them a little garlicky that's not even the word <laughs> and then we're gonna add our garlic salt with parsley all right and what we're gonna do we're just gonna shake these up and we're gonna steam them and then we're gonna fry them after we're done. So I'll see you guys in just a few. We're gonna put all the oil in our pot. We're adding our peppers, onion, garlic, thyme, all those stuff. We're gonna lightly saute them. All right. I wish you could smell the aromas because nothing smells better than some fresh herbs and spices cooking. We're gonna add in about one teaspoon of curry powder. And we're creating what we call a burning technique, but not burn, you understand? So we saute in the curry with our vegetables. All right. A lot of people say this way, the curry won't affect your, your gut system, but I don't think it makes a difference. But I wanted to show you both techniques of how they make curry in Jamaica, all right? 
So I think we have cooked all that curry enough. Maybe I need just a little bit more so that we can make sure that our chicken has the right color. So you're gonna cook this lot for about a minute. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna add in our seasoned chicken. Once we start folding our chicken, then the chicken gonna start develop the color. And as I said, we cut these in small strips, so they're not gonna take much time to cook. Let me turn on our warm water. All right, so keep sauteing this for about a minute and we'll be right back. In our pot right here, we're gonna go ahead and add in our plantains. So make sure the oil is on medium heat. And then we're gonna put a lid on this so that it can steam through nicely. And then we're gonna press them, all right? So I'll see you guys in about three to four minutes. Back over to our chicken. What we're gonna do, we're gonna saute. Now we're gonna go in with our green beans, our peppers, we're gonna make sure we get a nice saute on everything. Cause as I said, these chicken won't take long to cook. They're almost ready, already. A lot of people are gonna say that was quick, but yeah. So once we start folding our beans and our peppers and everything, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add in about half cup of water that we rinse on our container that we marinate our chicken in. And we just wanna kinda scrape the bottom of the pan to kinda get all that seasoning from down at the bottom. Just look how beautiful that looks. The aromas are amazing. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna reduce the heat, let this steam through a little bit, and kind of get our green beans and peppers and chicken nice and tender for about five minutes. And then we're gonna come back, add in our coconut milk, just a little bit more liquid, and then this meal is gonna be ready. So I'm telling you, this is the simplest curry you will ever make. All right, guys, I'll see you in about five minutes. All right, so after five minutes, we're gonna add in one cup of water. We have some more of our maggot chicken seasoning. It's about one teaspoon. We're gonna add that in. We're gonna add in a sprinkle of red pepper flakes. We wanna get a little kick in there. I'm gonna add in some more black pepper. And then we're gonna add in our coconut milk. Once we add in our coconut milk, we're gonna let this just reduce on low. Mm. We're adding half of a can of coconut milk and we're using a 13.5 ounce. So we're using half of a can. All right. Mm. The aromas are amazing. Just look how rich that looks too. Whew. You just look at that. Oh my goodness. This is about a 15 minute coconut curry. So we're gonna simmer this for another five minutes. It's gonna be all done. Cause normally curry chicken takes about 30 minutes. We cut this in half based on that we cut the chicken in smaller pieces. We add in our beans and vegetables. Whew. Just look how rich and delicious that looks. I know you want a bite. Grab you some. So we're back over here with our plantains now. You see the, um, the fork can stick into it, but the other side is not brown enough yet. So we're gonna let it go for another minute. Then we're gonna take them out and I'll take you over to the pressing station. Stay tuned guys. So this is gonna be delicious. So this is done now. We're gonna add a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. You don't want to reduce this too much because of the coconut milk. It's gonna, what we call in Jamaica, sleep. 
so it's gonna get extra thick so you can turn it off when it's a little less when it's a little loose you can take it off because it's gonna start to thicken up so, all right so our dish is done we're just waiting on our plantains and then we're ready for the road to press our plantain flat so as you can see, we have our plantain right there. Right here, we have a, a towel set up and a piece of foil paper. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our delicious plantain, put it right there. Fold it over. And we're going to press, 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 press. All right. Now, as you can see, we created this nice, beautiful, delicious pressed plantain we're gonna finish all of them and then we're gonna go back over to the stove and fry them up crispy right, so we're back over to the stove as you can see all our plantains are nicely pressed we're gonna go ahead and add them back in the oil this time we're not covering it because they're already steamed through and tender so we're gonna let them fry up nicely all right so I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, so our plantains have been going for a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip them. So that's the kind of color you're looking for on your plantains. You want it to be nice and golden brown. All right, so we're gonna fry the other side and I'll see you guys in the mukbang. Welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see from the title, we're making Jamaican press plantain, but we did add a little bit of garlic flavor to it, a little bit of parsley flavor to it, and then we made green beans, coconut, curry, chicken. Now guys, if you are not excited about this, I am, and I'm gonna show you why you should be excited about this. I'm gonna give you a close up of how this looks. Um, I'm starting to love this idea of picking out words from a song and discuss it, all right? So this is a pretty old song by Tamia, and um, we're gonna be talking about it, all right? So let me give you a close up of this deliciousness. Whew, you just look at that. All right, so let's pray. We're gonna take our thumbnail, and then we're gonna dig into this food and get into our topic. So let's pray. Most righteous and eternal Father, as we come before in your presence, we hope that you bless this food, bless the hands that prepare it, let it be of nourishment to our bodies, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so I think this is going to be a hard one to capture because of the sauce on it. And we don't want to um, get too many hands in it. All right, let's hold it back a little bit. All right, there we have it. Oh my. And as I, as I told you guys, we're gonna be bringing our, our coffee cup from Silly's Mukbang in all of our videos. Today we're just drinking some lemon iced tea. I've never really drink iced tea like that, but you know, I was like, you know, it's a nice rainy day. So All right, let's drink some iced tea. I mean, West Virginia iced tea is a big thing over here, too. I'm like, let's be a part of the culture. All right, so the song that we're going to be talking about, it goes like this. Don't bring me roses. Bring me the truth. Don't buy me diamonds, because that just won't do. Material things I can buy myself if I really want to. You see? Yes. So we're going to talk about, you know, have you had enough? When is enough? And why is it important to be independent and not dependent? Now, that's a really, really, really heavy topic because, you know, different families have to make different decisions that suit them. Um, but I feel like this modern society has really, you know, put a different spin on these things women are starting to become more independent and they like to work their own money. A lot of times they're the ones who are holding down the household. So I don't want nobody to be offended about my views on this. Uh, we're just going to be talking. We want to hear your input in the comment section. And we're just going to dig into some delicious food. 
I may even get lost in the food and don't even remember what we're talking about. But that's a part of being over here at the Adrian Cooking and Food Reviews channel. All right. So cheers to you. So we're drinking some iced tea in the building. Let's get another thumbnail. Mm, that's pretty good. All right, let's dig into this food. That chicken is nice and tender. Mm. Take a bite. Mm. Mm. Look, I made a mess of it. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Take a bite of this nice crispy plant. All right. I'm going to show you how us as Jamaicans eat everything. So you see how I get it into the sauce. I get some chicken on it. Mm. 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 Oh my God. That is amazing. Mm. So yeah, to the topic, I feel like, you know, we all have to have some sort of independence because when you start depending on someone, People start taking advantage of you. They think they can say whatever they want to say, do whatever they want to do. They think they can mess up and then you're going to welcome them back with open arms. So me personally, I feel like independence is very important. But also, if you have respect, then independence doesn't even matter because you have partners who respect the other partner and they respect that, you know, we have kids and all these things. So they decide that, you know, one person has to stay at home and it's more feasible and it makes more sense. But, you know, you have some people who just think there's no respect. They think, you know, if you ain't working um, and I'm bringing all the money to the table, then we have an issue. But, you know, if someone stays at home, typically they have a job too because they're working with the kids. They're working around the house. They're doing all these things. That's a job too. They just don't have a nine to five or they're not getting a physical paycheck. But, you know... We all got to get on board and realize that when two people are in a relationship, it's a partnership and nobody should feel like, you know, I have to go here and work. I have to bring something to the table because I'm going to feel less than, you know. But yeah, let's keep digging into this food. Dig into the food because this is good. <laughs> Ooh. Take a bite. Mm. 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 I just want to say shout out to Joe Cola because I bought these plantains, right? And I was thinking about making this curry chicken with the green beans, and I was like, I'm going to make it with rice. And then he was like, I love plantains. That oxtail that Jill made would be good with some plantains. So shout out to Jill Comfort Zone too. If you don't have those people, go ahead and grab them. Um, but yeah, so they all kind of inspired the side dish for this um, dish. So I want to say shout out to you guys. Mm. But I'm so glad I made this. So it's delicious. And this is such a quick... Coconut curry takes about 15 minutes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, so you see him in that song, it's quite obvious that the man messed up. He was trying to buy this woman roses, chocolates, diamonds, all those stuff. And she was like, no, no, no. I can provide for myself so I don't have to take the crap from you. And now that explains to you why 
women or men or whoever know that they have to be independent because you know if you're dependent on someone now they think they can do whatever so i like that about her but i feel like also there's a lot of strong women and men out there who are able even if they're not even if they're dependent they know that this is time to cut the plug on this situation because it's not working but not because you're providing for me or I'm depending on you, I'm going to take your crap. You understand? So shout out to all the strong people out there. Shout out to all the people who are trying to work themselves out of the situation that they are not happy in. Because, you know, at some point in time, we always have to do a little bit of reflection and just realize that, you know, this situation may not be the right situation for me. But a lot of times, people are not confident enough to step out on faith or to just step out and just believe in themselves that they're worth more than what someone may say they're worth. You know? So I, I'm just trying to leave a message here, trying to motivate you to just believe in yourself. You are worth it, you know? And also we're talking about this in another live. I was saying to myself, I was like, people deserve what they choose. A lot of people may come for me for this, but I truly believe this because let's say I know that I'm worth a million dollars. You know, I'm not talking about me or humans or whatever, because that's not what we do. But let's say you have a car that you know worth a million dollars, right? And you decide to give it up for 500000 Okay, that's what it's worth because you decide to give it up for 500000 So I feel like if you know your worth and what you're worth and how you should be treated and all those stuff and you choose less than that, then that's what you're worth because you obviously didn't know your worth. So let's dig into this food. We're done with that topic. We're just going to savor this food for the next few minutes. But yeah, I always like to leave you with a message. So guys, I'm very passionate about things like these because I've seen these things happen so often. And I'm like, wow. All right, take a bite. I'm going to hold it long enough today so that you don't say I don't share. <laughs> mm. You hear those green beans? Because I didn't overcook them. This is always the best part when you have those plantain and you soak it up in that sauce. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. That garlic on the outside. So good. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I'm never going to settle for anything because I want to be in a relationship or because I want someone to provide for me. Hell to the no. Mm -mm. But just remember, I'm not judging anyone's situation. I'm just speaking from my point of view, my perspective. You know, everybody got to do what's right for them like shout out to eat spicy with tea i was listening to her video and she and her husband were sharing their love story and she made sure she tell them she's like don't judge your relationship based on her relationship just do what makes you happy that works for her and her family so you know a lot of people see people in certain relationships and they judge them and they be like oh yes because she also point out don't say we don't have struggles you know so shout out to you, T. That was awesome. I love that video. Mm. And shout out to the creative Creole. She always has such great perspective on these topics. And I truly enjoy them. I enjoy everybody's perspective, but... Mm. 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 The 
look at that, they soak up a lot of salt. This is heaven right here. Mm -hmm. Until that chicken breaks apart, so tender. Mm. And I'm telling you, this is my first time making this recipe too. Mm -hmm. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I've made coconut curry chicken before, but not with all of this. That's it, soak up that sauce. Mm. And your coconut milk just brings out this nice sweetness in the curry. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, I'm rocking my Jamaica. All right, I have one last piece of plant and a little bit of sauce. I don't want to um, be like this. In. I want you guys to see that side. <laughs> mm. Sorry. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Now, guys, if you've been here before, you still haven't subscribed. What are you waiting for? Have you not enjoyed the video? <laughs> I'm just playing. So guys, if this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new upload. And I wanna say share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbor, share with everybody because they wanna be a part of this fun and personality. So I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all and peace. Yeah.